make our way up to the Treasury Building. Yeah, you know. There are many ways to see D.C. We can. And many things to see. The statue of General Pershing there. But hidden in the shadows of the grand architecture, on these renowned streets, <laughs> an intriguing history you didn't learn about in school. At 14th and H was the former quote unquote porno district of DC. He grabs a couple pistols and he runs out the door. Now, what's the distinguishing mark on this dress? There's a semen stain on the dress. <laughs> New to the Washington, D.C. tour circuit is the D.C. scandal tour. We love scandals. American history is rife with flukes and flaws, as is the history of any country. There seems to be an inordinate amount here in Washington. Why is that? I think it's a power play. You know, everyone wants, lower people want higher power, and the powerful think they can do anything, and, yeah, power will corrupt. People in power, they really push a fear-mongering perspective on uh, the American uh, citizenry. And to a great degree, you could say that who's the father of fear-mongering in the United States? And unequivocally, I could say that's J. Edgar Hoover. It's no surprise, then, that this was one of the stops on the tour. But as we know, scandal comes in many forms. As to be expected, an overarching theme was sex, and all the politicians caught with their pants down or with women who weren't their wives. Apparently, it happened all the time where I'm standing right here, the site of a very popular strip club in the 70s called the Silver Slipper. And then there are those scandals that have it all. Politics, sex, and drugs. We stopped here at D.C. City Hall to talk about one of the city's former mayors, who still reports here to work as a city councilman. I'm talking, of course, about Marion Barry. Bitch set me up. I'll be goddamn that bitch. That bitch did that to me. From the setups of some to the get up of others, this tour covered it all, like Benjamin Franklin. Uh, he would wear a coonskin cap, and you know, the various ladies for hire on the street thought that was a rather uh, rambunctious move and would compete for him and his attention. Scandal, it seems one of the few constants throughout history. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. Uh, the committee to reelect Nixon eventually was found to have broke into uh, the Watergate. What is it that people love about scandals? Uh, well, I don't know. Then the human angle, I guess. Large amounts of society start to deify some of our founding fathers, uh, past the point of realizing they were also just human beings. <laughs> A look back of a different kind and a new perspective on how some things just never change. In Washington, Christine Frizzell, RT.